I want to thank Mo Levin for putting this event together over and over, over the years. And uh, I want to commend Mo Levin. I think everyone, when you see Mo, commend him for what he's done. Uh, he hasn't changed the name to blockchain or anything. <laughs> it's wonderful. All right. So here I am. Uh, who was here last year? Oh, I got new people. That's good. We need new people. So I always like putting the Wright brothers up here because they, uh, I figured, you know, they were bicycle mechanics and they built an airplane. And if you walked by their garage in the middle of the night, the bicycle shop, I don't think you'd uh, understand what they were doing and you'd think they were crazy. I'm going to make the, bi the airplane really big, the wings bigger, so it can fly. You know, people might, probably thought they were crazy, but they did not go to the mayor to ask him for permission. But if they were in Miami, Suarez would have probably given him permission. That's pretty good. They didn't ask the mayor for permission because if they did ask for the mayor for permission, we would have all walked over here taking a donkey or something. So, ah. so we built the Bitcoin Center next to the New York Stock Exchange back in 2013. Uh, everyone thought I went crazy. I probably did. But uh, we stood there bold in the face of all the finan legacy financial systems. And uh, knowing that our technology was better, we stood there and stood our ground and we're not drug dealers and we're not all this other stuff. We're technologists. 100 feet. We had open pit trading. I don't think you can do that anymore. Uh, there's a movie, Banking on Bitcoin. So zap.org is a project I'm working on for a while because I believe that decentralization is everything. And people use that word a little lightly sometimes or they keep using the word. And uh, I'm not sure if they really understand the word as much. I believe that many things will be tokenized. I'm not talking about ICOs or uh, things of that. I'm just saying many things are going to be tokenized because it's a better way to keep track of uh, everything. It's a better way to manage information and uh, workflow and uh, 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 payments. So at uh, Zap, we create a bonding curve. Everyone that creates a token on uh, Zap gets their own token. They get a decentralized uh, a DEX, right? A decentralized exchange where people can buy and sell in and out of a smart contract based on a fixed bonding curve. So, you know, the world's going to catch up. We've been working on this for three years. We got it up uh, in January last year. So it's been, uh, we've been working for a long time. Talk, people are talking about it now. We have a partnership with Cafe Joe. We're going to uh, we're putting together gift cards for them. And uh, it's going to be incredible. Juju Rentals over here in Miami. We have big roots in Miami. Uh, we opened up the Bitcoin Center here in Miami. You guys have to visit uh, at blockchaincenter.com. The reason why we put up blockchaincenter.com and this is the bitcoincenter.com also, uh, forward slash Miami, is because... All these corporations, all these corporations are using the word blockchain. And then you get these outfits out there that are promoting things that are not really to the ethos of why we're here. I mean, we have this one moment in time where we can actually free ourselves utilizing this technology. Never before were we able to free ourselves from centralization. Our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, our great-great-great-grandparents, generations and generations of our ancestors, most of them, were beaten into the ground through centralization. And 27 middlemen took their life's work. And we're, ha we're here... At this moment, in a place where we'll never, I don't think another generation is going to have the chance 
to do this because the technologies that we use to decentralize ourselves, you know, might also be used to oppress us. So I forcibly promote decentralization with my every breath. So I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying. So we, we have this project uh, called BitUnits, built on uh, Zap technology, on the Zap protocol. And each property gets its own token. So it's really, it's a share. We use a corporation from uh, Wyoming, and each property uh, share is on the uh, curve. So people buy and sell on this predetermined pricing index, because what are you going to do? Let's say you have a $100,000 piece of property or something. How are you going to uh, tokenize it? It has a great rent roll. You want to make 15% return. You give 15% return to the token holders. How are you going to do that? You need a market maker. You got to give some big centralized exchange $5 million to list you. Let's say you have like a basket weaving token. You can't do it. So you buy and sell on a predetermined pricing index. This way you don't have to hire a market maker. You don't have to get it on an exchange. People can come to your site and buy your token. Whoa, that's backwards. The real estate industry is $228 trillion. I was in the real estate industry for a long time. This is the crew here. Some of the crew. <laughs> Whoa. That's not me yet. I got to go to the gym. Um... I expect, my expectations, your expectations, pretty much are the throttle to how much you can create or achieve. I don't know if I said that right, but if, you're, if you expect decentralization to happen in a positive way, if you expect to make a, a company that's going to make a whole bunch of money and uh, free you from the bonds of this financial uh, prison. If you expect to be free, if you expect to build an exchange, I didn't know anything about exchanges. I didn't know anything about exchanges. But I knew that I heard the people who talked bad about good, poli good uh, libertarian politicians. <laughs> I knew that the same people talking bad about Bitcoin, if they talk, they talk bad about the politicians, then they talk bad about Bitcoin. And uh, I knew that I had to do something. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what kind of licenses. I don't, you know, I didn't know anything. So I just went and I got the biggest place I can right next to the stock market, 100 feet from the stock market, and I just did it because I saw in my brain that we need an exchange to educate everybody that this is not a back alley situation. This is not like for drugs. It's not like my family thought I was crazy. Was, what are you doing? So I had to expect that this was going to happen. I put that, that it's going to happen. I use my reality, what little time I have, I squeezed out of it a new reality. And that's what each and every one of you got to do. You got to squeeze out a new reality from every moment and be bold because time's short. Your ancestors are watching. That's why you're here. How many generations had to die to, for you to show up here? You might not have thought you were, weren't important. But out of the billions of sperm, you made it. You know, there's a reason why you're here. You might have been convinced otherwise by the same people who want to oppress you using the boob tube, but you're here to change the world. That's why you're here. Out of billions and billions of sperm, you're the winner. But that's not it. All right, you're born winner. You're born winners. Don't let anyone take that away from you. You're born winners. I know that some people, I didn't realize it, but people have a low self-esteem 
Maybe I'm so conceited. But, you know, I was very lucky. My dad raised me to be tough. This is the Bitcoin Center and Blockchain Center in uh, Miami. We have Erica Gemma and Scott Spiegel and Mayor Suarez there in the ribbon cutting. We came over here because, uh, you know, I think it works over here. People are more open-minded. And uh, New York, they made laws against us. They couldn't shut us down, so they had to make these laws. But, you know, they stifled everyone's brain. It's like, oh, we can't have an open pit of trading. Uh, what's your KYC? What's your this? What? People meet in the street, or they meet in the place, and things get weird. I mean, we're humans. We're, <laughs> I don't know. What the, you know, uh, I don't want to say, I don't want to say. I'd probably get in trouble. I think she's going to show that later. But that's a... Proclamation from the city we got from Mayor Suarez. Mo got it too. Mo got one. This is an event we had over there. We have Bitcoin ATMs we built. Dave, two way, always have a two way. We have an ATM in New York that pays out 6% because I don't want to go to the bank. You know, other people have, they buy from uh, uh, exchanges and they put in the ATM, but that doesn't teach, that doesn't create a cycle omitting the bank. So we give out 6% when you sell your coin to the machine. This way we don't have to go to the bank. We just leave the machine and keeps chugging along there. Energy lever, uh, ledger, we use a, a ZAP protocol to uh, tokenize uh, energy ledger, energy uh, containers, of oil, uh, where's Garrett? You got Garrett Pete here. He was from the original Bitcoin Center. He has an asteroid named after him because he won a 10-year-old some science fair. So Energy Ledger is huge. Vote Watcher. We built uh, voting machines that use paper ballots because that's, you know, that's the way it's going to work out. I know everyone thinks it's going to be on a smartphone, but every person in an election has to understand how the votes are counted or else they're going to sue. Let's say someone runs and he loses and he got a lot of money, he's going to sue because, oh, those phones are corrupt. So you need the paper. And... Uh, I don't know what else to tell, tell you guys. I mean, I know that uh, the open permissionless blockchain can free us. Uh, if, we do, if we allow it to, if we bust our hump and uh, make it happen, then it'll have already have had happened. But if we don't, I mean, there are countries out there you got these big, huge databases, and now they're going to integrate probably some ledger technology money that's not permissionless, you know, permissioned, closed, silo of uh, currency, digital currency that they can reward people or, you know, delete them, not let them on a plane. All these things are coming here. It's up to you to, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I know you're fighting for your Lambo. What's going to happen? You get a Lambo and they're not going to let you drive. You know, you want a big mansion? The commies are going <laughs> to, they're going to stuff 80 people in it. And you're going to be the gardener. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You know, I came from a different time. If I really told you what I thought, I'd probably be in jail. You know? I just, uh, you know, I'm a crypto hooligan. That's it. <laughs>